Did your dad ever give you one of these and say, hold on to it, it's gonna be worth a lot of money someday? Or maybe you got one of these bad boys back in change? Well, if you've got one of these, then you definitely wanna watch the rest of this video because your quarter might be worth a heck of a lot more than 25 cents. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how to determine which of these 1976 bicentennial quarters are worth the big bucks, and which ones you'd be better off just buying a gumball with. First off, while bicentennial quarters are definitely cool with the dual date on the obverse and the drummer boy design on the reverse, they're not actually as rare as you might think. In fact, they were produced not for one year, but for two years in both 1975 and 1976 to celebrate the 200th anniversary of America's independence. And the United States produced 1.6 billion of them. That's right, billion with a B. And like I said, these were produced in both 1975 and 1976, but there's no version that actually says 1975. They both say 1776 to 1976. So it's almost like producing two years worth of coins, but with one design, making these coins even less rare. To make matters worse, because these coins were so cool looking and just sort of felt collectible, everyone and their mother pulled these coins out of circulation and saved them, thus preserving these coins coins in a sock drawer or up on a shelf in pristine condition, making even superb examples of these coins really quite common. So that's the bad news. Most bicentennial quarters are just worth 25 cents. But there's also good news. There are two main attributes that can dramatically increase the value of your bicentennial quarter, and those are mint mark and condition. There's also a third factor that can dramatically increase the value of your bicentennial quarter, and I'll get to that later in the video, so be sure to stick around until the end. So mint mark, what is that? Well, it's the little symbol, or lack thereof, on the obverse of the coin that designates which U.S. mint facility the coin was produced at. Coins minted at the Denver or San Francisco mint will have a little D or a little S next to Washington's head, and coins minted at the Philadelphia mint will have no mint mark whatsoever. Given that over 800 million bicentennial quarters were minted at both the Denver and Philadelphia mints, but only 22 million were minted at the San Francisco mint, on average, S mint mark bicentennial quarters will be worth a little bit more than their P or D counterparts. And within the S mint mark coins, there are actually three types. There are silver proofs, clad or not silver proofs, and uncirculated silver examples. Now, all of these coins were produced specifically for collectors even at that time and were never intended to make it into circulation. But on occasion, you still can find some of these in circulation if you're lucky if some ding dong used granddaddy's coin collection to buy gumballs. But even so, even with the S mint mark coins, we're not talking about tremendous amounts of money. Ungraded, a silver 76S proof is worth about eight bucks. A silver uncirculated 76S is worth about five bucks, and a clad 76S proof is worth about three bucks. So great if you get it in pocket change, but nothing really to write home about. Condition is the metric that is going to make the difference between whether your quarter is worth 25 cents or almost 20 grand. And yes, spoiler alert, we are going to take a look at a 1976 bicentennial quarter that you could find in pocket change that literally sold at auction for almost $20,000. Also, if you're enjoying this video, I make lots of other videos like it, so you best click on that big ol' red subscribe button and join us for more fun. And while you're at it, do me the ultimate YouTube solid and hit that like button, smash the like button, destroy the like button, because you don't realize how simple it is for you and how much of a difference it makes for me. I really do appreciate it. Now, back to business. Condition. A coin's condition is typically graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 1 being like an absolute trash coin and 70 being the perfect pristine example of that coin. Now, for most coins, getting anything above a 60, which is considered mint state, or MS as we say in the biz, is absolutely spectacular. But because, like I said, people hoarded these coins in massive quantities right out of circulation, these are really, really common even in high grades. So in order for these coins to be worth a ton, they have to be super high mint state coins. Want to see how crazy the difference is? These three 1976D coins were graded MS66, 
MS67 and MS68 respectively. The one graded MS66, which again is a tremendous grade because it's out of 70, not out of 100, sold on eBay for $15.50. Again, great if you find it in pocket change, but if you get it graded and all that and then sell it on eBay, you probably lose money after eBay and grading fees. The one graded MS67, however, did a lot better. That one sold at Heritage Auctions for $91. Now again, there are auction fees and there are grading fees, but still, hey, if you had that quarter sitting in a drawer somewhere and you got it graded and sold it for 91 bucks, that's pretty darn good. But this is where things get really crazy. This 1976D Bicentennial Quarter that graded at MS68 sold for a whopping $6,462.50. For a quarter! Now, I want to be clear, it is definitely not an easy task to find any of these coins in such high grades out in circulation or even sitting in your granddaddy's collection, but it's not impossible and that's what's key. Now, if you're sitting there scratching your head and wondering why the difference between MS67 and MS68 is so freaking huge, well, that's because MS68 is the highest grade so far. So, if you do find one ever that has a higher grade than MS68, it'll likely sell in the five or six figures, which is absolutely insane. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I am going to share with you a resource that will help you determine whether the coin that you have in your possession is a high grade coin. That said, when it comes to S Mint Mark coins, there are coins that graded higher than MS68. In fact, this one that graded MS69 sold for $6,600. So there's still tons of value in the S Mint Mark coins as well. But there is one other important piece of information to remember. There is a difference between proof coins and non-proof coins. This one that sold for $6,600 is from the uncirculated variety, and you know that because it has a mint state grade. Proof coins are graded on a different scale, like this one over here, which is a proof 70, right? Proof 70, not MS 70. So it's a perfect proof coin, and these typically sell for a maximum of like 180 bucks. Still, an amazing, amazing coin, but not $6,600 amazing. But what about that bicentennial quarter that I told you about that sold for almost $20,000? Well, I'm going to show you that in a minute, but first, let's talk about that third factor that can influence the value of bicentennial quarters dramatically, and that is whether the coin is an error or a variety. Now, error coins are coins that were damaged at some point during the minting process. So no, that coin you ran over with your lawnmower doesn't count. It has to have been damaged in some unusual event during the actual production process. Now, a variety is similar to an error except that it doesn't happen to just one coin. It happens to all the coins that were produced with a particular die that was somehow damaged during the die making process. Now there are lots of different types of errors that can happen to a coin and the bicentennial quarter is no exception. So we're going to do a whole separate video on errors and varieties of bicentennial coins, but I'll give you one example of each. This error coin, which is an off-center error and is a pretty extreme example, sold on eBay for $575. That is absolutely insane, right? Now, you can find error coins out in the wild, but really extreme examples like this one, the odds of you finding one are pretty slim because even non-collectors will pull these out of circulation the second they see them. However, varieties are much, much more subtle and to the naked eye, to the common person, they just look like regular coins. So your odds of finding them are much, much better and you can find them in circulation. One of the most common varieties to look for among bicentennial quarters is the 1976D FS101 DDO. Now that is quite a mouthful, but it's actually pretty simple what it means. 1976D means the 1976 Denver Mint Quarter. DDO means double die obverse, which means that there is some doubling of a particular feature on the obverse or head side of the coin. And FS101 is just sort of the ID number that's been assigned to that particular variety. Now the coin you see here is both a variety and a super high grade. It's an MS65 of the 1976 FS101 DDO, and it sold at auction for $3,246. So again, this is an MS65, which is lower than any of the other coins we looked at, but because of the variety designation, it gets premium sale prices. Now, speaking of premium prices, I promised to share with you a ridiculously premium priced coin, and this is it. 
This 1976S uncirculated coin in mint state 69 condition sold at auction for an absurd $19,200. Now, it is beyond me why that one sold for $19,200 when we looked at a very, very similar coin, an MS69 76S that sold for $6,600. So it's kind of a mystery to me why this one sold for almost three times as much. And if any of you guys out in the audience can figure out why, please let me know in the comments below. I'm sure we'd all be curious to find out. Now, if you've been watching this and you've already run to your sock drawer or that little box with all of your precious items in it and pulled out your 1976 Bicentennial Quarters, I'm gonna share with you the resource that you can use to determine whether or not your coin is a high enough grade that makes it worth getting graded and potentially selling for a huge profit. And that resource is PCGS Photograde. PCGS is one of the top two coin grading companies in the world, and on their website, they have a free resource that shows you images, high resolution images, of each coin in each grade. Now, they don't have a specific one for the Bicentennial Quarter, but you can just look at the Washington Quarter, and I'll link it below so you can have easy access, but basically, you can compare your coin against the coin on the screen and see whether it's an MS64 and probably not worth getting graded even though it's a nice coin, or an MS68 that could sell for thousands of dollars. Now, one caveat, grading coins is a skill that takes years and years of practice. So don't think that you're gonna be able to get it exactly right just by looking at it after two seconds. But it will give you a sense of whether or not you're in the right ballpark. Now, what do you do if you did find one that you think is worth getting graded? Well, you're already ahead of the curve because you have me. You can send me a high resolution image of your coin either to my email address at thesilverpicker at gmail.com or you can tag me on Instagram at thesilverpicker and you should probably be following me there anyway. But I will be more than happy to give you some guidance and tell you whether or not I think that that coin is indeed worth grading. And if it is, I can help you come up with a strategy to get the coin graded and ultimately sell it. But the short version of the strategy is if you have a bicentennial quarter that's worth less than 50 bucks, I would say sell it on eBay and chick chock, you're done. But if you have one that's worth more than 50 bucks, then it's probably worth getting it graded by either PCGS or NGC or another reputable coin grading company and then submitting it to a high-end auction house like Heritage Auctions. Anyway, that's about it for today. There's still a ton more to learn about bicentennial coins, but if you like this video, I've got lots of other videos like it where I teach you how you can find rare coins and bills in your pocket change that are worth a lot of money. So stick around, hit that big old red subscribe button if you haven't, throw me a like, and I've got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike, so stay tuned, and until then, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. You guys are amazing. I wouldn't even trade you for that MS69 1976S Bicentennial Quarter. But if you're not yet a patron and you'd like to support my channel, the links are below, and then I will see you in our private Discord server.